来，今天我们将继续西弗吉尼亚州的旅行，参观 Fairmont 和周边的一些城市。和西弗吉尼亚州的大多数地方一样 ，Fairmont 拥有一些非常美丽的自然风景。喜欢摄影的朋友一定会爱上这里。美丽的建筑见证了这个阿巴拉契亚小镇的昔日辉煌。Fairmont 在西弗吉尼亚州历史上扮演着重要的角色，他是该州的主要创始人之一弗朗西斯·皮尔彭的家乡，也是该州的首位州长。河对岸，我们可以看到河岸公园，这是一个享受户外活动的好地方，也可以在这个地方欣赏小镇的美景。在离 Fairmont 不远的地方是一个叫菲利牌的小镇，在这里我们发现了一座覆盖着菲利牌的桥，叫菲利牌 Bridge。尽管这个桥已经存在了有一百七十年的历史，但是我们仍然能够开车穿过。由于一九八五年的洪水和一九八九年的火灾，这座油顶桥几乎成了一段记忆。幸运的是，这座历史性的地标存活了下来，今天我们仍然可以在这里欣赏它。这座桥在美国内战期间曾被摧毁，甚至被用作联邦军队的兵营。桥旁边还有几座纪念这个州以矿工而闻名的纪念碑，特别是那些在 C 狗矿难中丧生的矿工。在那场矿难中，十三名矿工在爆炸后被困，只有一人最终幸存。桥的旁边还有一个小的博物馆，是从一个旧火车站改建而来的。它展示了该地区收藏的一些木乃伊和其他文物。接下来，我们将前往附近的 Grafton 小镇。Grafton 是母亲节的发源地。一定要在安德鲁斯教堂参观国际母亲节的圣殿，这是美国历史上很重要的一部分。Grafton。如今是一个安静的地方，但古老的火车站和威拉德酒店，让人想起了他曾经繁忙的过去。车离开小镇，来到安娜·贾维斯的家。安娜·贾维斯是公认的母亲节创始人。我们的下一站是 Grafton 国家公墓，那里保存着一些在美国内战中阵亡的首批士兵的遗体。第一位在战争中被南方士兵杀害的北方士兵 T. Bailey Brown 也葬在这里。
你碰巧在圣诞节前后来到 Grafton， 一定不要错过他们美丽的圣诞灯饰。让我们一起来看看吧。现在我们回到 Fairmont 参观马里恩县历史学会博物馆，让我们进去看看他们展出的一些文物和历史吧。楼上我们可以看到老的监狱，曾经有很多矿工被关在这里。这个博物馆的负责人一些关于这个地区的问题吧。Um, I know you mentioned you moved away from California when you were twelve, right? So, um, was West Virginia your first stop, or like, where did you go after、um, California? Well, I was twelve years old,、mm-hmm. and I was、uh, a ward of the court of、uh, in California.、Uh, Basically, my sister and I、uh, were taken away, and they found my father, who、mm-hmm. we didn't really know, but he was a sign painter, and he was in New Jersey,、uh, Atlantic City, New Jersey.、Mm-hmm. And so, the state of California sent us to live with our father in、uh, Pleasant Pleasantville, I think it was called, New Jersey, which、mm-hmm. is near Atlantic City, and、uh, so. Uh, after a few years、uh, in the seventies,、uh, late seventies, my dad had found a brochure about West Virginia,、mm-hmm. and、uh, he found some land for five hundred dollars an acre、uh-huh. in, in Harrison County in a、uh-huh. place called Kinchelo, which is a、uh, rural rural part of、uh, Harrison County,、uh-huh. and so he bought it was like thirteen acres. In Kinchelo,、uh-huh. and he built his own house there, and he got it. Him and his uh, his uh, partner, they weren't married, but uh, Beverly, uh, they bought the the land for five hundred dollars an acre. Wow! In Kinchelo. So,、um, you have been living in West Virginia since nineteen seventy nine. Seventy nine. 
Yes, I was 19 years old. So what was、um, West Virginia like back then, like when you came back from... In 1979, Clarksburg, Clarksburg was a, a prosperous city. Clarksburg、mm-hmm. was a lot different than it is now. And it was a banking center.、Mm-hmm. There was a lot of、uh, very prominent banks. The Empire National Bank, which is now, I understand, kind of closed. I don't know if there's anything in the building or not, but it was beautiful.、Uh, and I, I actually worked for、uh, Mr. Highland. Mr.、Mm-hmm. Highland was the president of the bank and he owned the newspaper in Clarksburg.、Mm-hmm. And I、uh, eventually I got a job for that. I, in 1986, I started working for the Clarksburg newspaper as a reporter. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I've had kind of a, a <laughs> wild career. <laughs> yeah, yeah.、Uh, I had work ethic, though. I, I worked, you know, I did a lot of different things. I worked for a regional jail, I worked as a newspaper reporter,、uh-huh. I worked as a, a security guard. <laughs>、uh, I keep getting off track. So I worked there for 10 years.、Uh, but、uh, so what was Clarksburg like?、Uh, Clarksburg was a prosperous town.、Uh, before the mall was built, before、uh, the Meadowbrook Mall was built、mm-hmm. uh, in the late 70s, early 80s,、uh, the downtown in Clarksburg had everything.、Uh, you could walk to、mm-hmm. just about anywhere you wanted to go, your, your kids' schools were there. Uh, the churches, the stores, it was like a mall downtown. You had shoe stores, you had restaurants, lunch counters, you had Murphy's and McCoury's, which were like a lunch counter department store. You had、uh, Stone and Thomas,、uh, there was a JCPenney's, everything was there. So, and it was a prosperous town.、Mm-hmm. So、and、everything was thriving at that time. There were factories.、Um, anybody that wanted a job could find one, usually within a day or two.、Mm-hmm. You could, there w a s a lot of glass, glass factories,、uh, because West Virginia has the sandstone and the、mm-hmm. limestone. So、uh, the glass industry was thriving in the, really the whole state. t h e r e s there w a s a lot of glass factories. Mm-hmm. In West Virginia and Clarksburg, there was a bunch. There was the, the Acro Agate Marble and Toy Novelty Company.、Mm-hmm. They made marbles, and uh, there was uh, uh, Hazel Atlas. Uh, there was、uh, Anchor Hawking, which you can still see the old building that's、uh-huh. empty now. Clarksburg's changed so much, but it, it used to be. It used to be a thriving little town, rich, rich town. So,、yeah. what are the people like in this area?、Um, are they you know, generally more friendly?、Um, oh, absolutely.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the Appalachian people in general are、uh, they're, they're friendly people.、Mm-hmm. Uh, They、uh, are very accepting of others,、uh, foreigners, or just、uh, for other you know, people from other places. They're, they're not judgmental people.、Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 there's actually a whole thing that's been written about,、uh, it's called Appalachian Values.、Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And、uh, there's like 10, and I'm trying to think of what they were because I learned them when I went to the college. <laughs> Long time <laughs> But ago. But they really they ring, ring true. I'm sure you can still look them up if you looked up actual Appalachian values.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, just、uh, how people are friendly and、uh, kind of humorous, but it's kind of a dry humor. We find humor in, in things,、uh-huh. just. <laughs> uh, Things that some people might not think are so funny. Uh, uh, we're resourceful.、Uh-huh. We're very resourceful people.、Uh, a lot of people have gardens and hunt.、Mm-hmm. Uh, it actually used to be acceptable for、uh, young boys to take their rifles with them to school. 
because they would walk to school and on the way they might shoot a squirrel and <laughs> mom would cook it for dinner. And yeah. So like um, today, like people are they different from you know how people are, uh, were back then? Like any today? difference? Uh huh. Uh, like the the culture or you know like the way I, people behave. I think I think it's it. it it is. I think young people. I. It's kind of sad. I think that they're they're losing some of the traditions mm-hmm. that we had and the ways of doing things. They do things different, uh, and I guess it's just something that us older people need to accept. <laughs> I guess in a way, but uh, I'd like to see some of our traditions and things. Uh, kind of continued. I try to continue them with my own grandkids and my family. 这一带的阿巴拉契亚地区有很多的历史和老的建筑物，希望大家有机会可以在该地区进行一些探索。如果你喜欢这个视频，请点击 Like 按钮和订阅，这样你就不会错过未来的视频。我们下次见。